Let's really do the Step news. Up. Yes, the news. Uh, Ferrari, okay, has broken the lap record at the Nurburgring for production cars, okay, with this, the uh, 599XX. It did it in six minutes, 58 seconds. The Nurburgring? Oh, that's faster than Clay Ruckasoni's lap record in an F1 car. I know the track's a little bit uh, shorter now, but that is almost unbelievably fast for that, a road car, for a production car. That is incredible. It does have a 6-litre V12 and 772 horsepower, and it costs <coughs> 1.2 million pounds. And, and you can't actually have it. Well, not unless you've got 1.2 million pounds. <laughs> no, no, but that's the thing, you can, you can buy it, okay, and you own it, but then they don't let you have it, but they do let you drive it occasionally if they feel like it. Can I just say, th this was the actual photograph that Ferrari sent to us to show what the car looked like at the Nürburgring. Now, I'm not sure it's particularly brilliant. If we look at the graffiti on the track... <laughs> That's not a map of the Nürburgring, is it? No. I just... <laughs> <I'm> just... <laughs> <I did> it. <laughs> You've seen it now. And I have Too to late. say, I have to say the man who is responsible for this piece of graffiti has also been at work in Russia on a drawbridge. Uh, I've got a picture here. <laughs> Well, the Porsche that just makes a bit of sick come into your mouth when you see it. Like, Which would you rather have? That's the thing. What would you do? Nobody's yeah. watching. <laughs> well, nobody's actually in there, are they? You all come right. along and you, but they are! The World Cup is on BBC One and ITV. How many people do you think are watching? We're just not going to high pitch squeak. It's just <laughs> us in this room. It's just us. <laughs> Why don't you get naked? Go on. <laughs> According to the newspapers, Top Gear has now become serious. Yes. Um, so here we go. Yes. Gentlemen, uh, tell me, since we were last here, what is the best car you've driven? Good question, glad you asked it. Um, it would be this, Lamborghini Gallardo. This is the super Leggera, the new one, 570. It's magnificent, lighter, stiffer, faster, 570 brake horsepower. <laughs> I, mean, I haven't really? actually driven it as such, but I've looked at that picture of it and I'm desperate. 570. 570. Well, that's 570. very interesting, yeah. but because the standard car has 560, doesn't yep. it? And then yeah. Ferrari brought out the 458, which has got, I think, 562. Two, they, yes, two more. And then, mysteriously, Lamborghini came back with 570. Seven, all of a sudden. We all know why it is. It's because Lamborghini are owned by Audi, so the Germans do the actual building of the cars, and then they let the Italians do the brochure. So they just fill in the numbers. <laughs> it's got a million horsepower, yes. Yeah, it's 100,000, it's invisible, and it's got cannons. <laughs> what about you, then? Come on. Best car I've driven, yep. I have actually driven it, AMG SLS. It is a mental, we've got a picture of it here. Honestly, it is insanely fast. The only thing I don't like about it, really, uh, are the doors. It's got gull wings, um, so I'll probably wait for the um, convertible. Well, how can you have gull wing doors on a convertible? They'd be all floppy. You could have normal doors oh, on a convertible, and then it would be fantastic. Oh. No, that was awesome. So, James, you? Well, to be honest, I think it's got to be the new, uh, the new Boxster Spider, which I'm driving next week, actually. So you haven't driven that either? No. He means... I've, dri I've driven it, but I'm, we're doing... Oh, are you sure? Oh, we're doing it on the program. Yeah. He recorded it. Oh, I've driven it, yeah. Now, normally, OK, normally I wouldn't bring this up, but Citroen UK has appointed a new sales director, OK? And his name is Charles Peugeot. No, it isn't. <laughs> I have photographic proof from Citroen, Charles <laughs> Persia. <laughs> what are you thinking? What's his email address going to be? Charles.Persia at Citroen. <laughs> <laughs> What if there are lots of people called Charles Peugeot working at Citroen, so he ends up being Charles... <laughs> <laughs> Charles.Persia405. <laughs> Sorry, it wasn't, it wasn't worth it. There's a new car come out. It's called the Knight XV. You've got a picture of it here. Okay, now, XV. Uh, that's, that? pro that's, uh, that's 207 uh, Roman numerals. Oh, 93. Yes. Yeah, no, it's 207, yeah, definitely. It uh, let me talk you through it, okay? £650,000. <laughs> For that, you get internet uh, uh, connectivity, you get DVD, TV, a cigar humidor, uh, and according to one report, it can resist gunfire for 24 hours. 20 <laughs> Do you know what? I, th I think if I was shooting at someone, I'd get sort of bored after about four hours. I think the police would have arrived by four hours, well, personally. Yeah, but forgive me, it is a car. You'd kind of drive off before. <laughs> <You would>. After <laughs> an hour, they're, they're, they're not going to change their mind. He's still, going away. He is still <laughs> shooting at me. Yeah. And the other thing as well is, it's made in Canada. 
Who in Canada could do it? Are you Canadian? Whatever happens in Canada that would cause somebody to shoot at somebody else for 24 hours? <laughs> The other thing as well is if you are shooting at it, it's not likely you're going to miss, because here's a picture of it uh, next to a Hummer. Look at the size of it. It is massive. Before we do the news, uh, I'd just like to conduct a quick loyalty test. As I'm sure you know, uh, last week there was some sort of football match on at the same time as us, so I just wondered, um, who watched Top Gear last week? Hands up. I did. Yeah, 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 I did. It was great. Jeremy, you? I couldn't watch it. <laughs> I'll be honest, I found the bit with the wedding pretty cringeworthy, but I sort of I struggled on it. No, I couldn't watch it because I was in Johannesburg. Watching the final. Yes, oh, I did. Oh, great. So the one week when we wanted to call in a bit of loyalty, and you decided instead to go to South Africa and watch a Dutchman kick a Spaniard in the heart. Yes, I did. <laughs> but Thank I so have brought support. one of these back. Oh, God. Right, two long, noisy things. That's just one <laughs> word. One long, noisy thing. They don't work. Well, they don't look. <laughs> <laughs> what was all the fuss about then? <laughs> no, they were terrifyingly loud. That's well, I mean, I might have drunk some tequila through it, I admit, after the match, but it doesn't work. You, tr you won't be. You've got a degree. <laughs> I'll go, if you play a solo, I'll kick you. A game of chess, let alone a football match. <laughs> it doesn't work. It's, it's why is it orange? Why anyway? is it? Oh, I was supporting the Dutch. Why were you supporting the Dutch? Because the Dutch watch Top Gear and the Spanish don't. Yeah. Simple as that. And you don't watch Top Gear in your house either, do you? girls here well <laughs> good don't ever faint in Holland that would be my uh, top gear top tip for the night we've got some footage here explains what I'm on about it's the start of a race there's the grid girl oh she's got a bit wobbly and she's fainted there you go <laughs> so you're thinking poor girl yeah you're thinking oh no now she's lying on the track so as we can see men in high visibility jackets have come over to make sure she's okay or are they making sure she's okay how do you make... Oh, put your hand on her bottom. He's That's the ticket. That's what he's done. Now, let's hear what the driver's got to say. Check my auto. Check my auto. Get the off! That's a racing driver, isn't it? All over. A couple of weeks ago, you may remember, we announced that Ferrari had broken the lap record at the Nürburgring. Yes. They did it in six minutes and 58 seconds. Great! But already, Pagani have broken that with this, the Zonda R, and they've gone round it in six minutes and 40. We've got some footage of them doing it here. Here we go. Obviously, it's just very, wait, very fast. Wait a minute, is this a road car? Well, yes, it's, I mean, you can drive it on the road, it is. Yeah, but the whole point is this is a record that is... Well, it's not a shopping car, obviously. With, with, yeah, I see. So this road car with fire coming out of the back. <laughs> well done, then. Let's do the news. I'll tell you, just before we do, um, I don't know if you've heard, you know, Barack Obama's been prattling on about British Petroleum and this is 9-11 times a thousand, this oil spill. Did you hear how the uh, English football fans responded during the American game the other day? Did you hear that? They were actually singing, you're not swimming anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that is classic. There aren't very many things that we all agree on, except this. We all think that the best small car that you can buy at the moment is the Citroen DS3. Yeah. No, we're not it's joking about this. That is a genuinely brilliant little car. Think about it. It's, it's like a mini that smokes gulwaz. It's just <laughs> it's <laughs> it's it's gallic. It is. It's fantastic. The weird thing is, it's got exactly the same engine as the mini, hasn't it? As the mini yeah. Cooper. But it just feels better. For it does. Reason. It's great. It's, anyway, uh, the reason I brought this up is because they're bringing out a new hot version of this. Got a picture of it here. It's called the Racing. Okay. Yeah. 200 horsepower. The only thing is, Citroen will not. They refuse to tell us how much it's going to cost. I'm just going to make it up. 
50 quid. There you yeah. go, it's 50 pounds. It's 50 pounds. That's fantastic. And the thing is, who in their life wouldn't want orange wheels? Well, Seriously. Well, anyone with red hair, I imagine, it'll clash. <laughs> squirrels, red squirrels, they'd, they'd be terrible. Or the Duchess of York. And Robinson. Yes. The Pope, what's he called, the Pope bloke? Well, the Pope. <laughs> Silence, it's you endless. two. They're only making a thousand of them because uh, they're French and they're for idle communists. Well, uh, <laughs> nobody wants orange wheels, obviously. No, no, no. Anyway, I, I can't wait to get a go in that. It just looks brilliant. It does look uh, and I do like the wheels. Hey, good news. <laughs> look, I have secured some top secret film taken inside the factory of the new Dacia Duster being made. Excellent. Excellent. Anyway, um, the end of. <laughs> I'm sure you have. Sure you like it very much. Um, just briefly, has anybody this week seen this in the newspapers? I mean, it's the most ridiculous. I think it was actually an accident thing. <laughs> no, it was an accident because what she actually said was revolting, but it came out like fantastic. That's what she was. No, it's just. I, it's just. I, no, I think actually what's happened here um, is they they've had to cut the quote to make it fit on the newspaper, and they've had to take out an imbecile, but James May is. Yeah. Which would have gone. And she didn't say that, James, because you didn't say one word to her when she was down here, or you. Gee, honestly, Tom Cruise arrived last week. These two. Oh, Tom, I've got an old motorbike as well. Would you like to come? <laughs> you can leather trousers and go off into the countryside no. and drink orange juice. We couldn't it's... get near to Cameron because she was entirely surrounded by you. Uh, <laughs> she, she hugged me three times. She's an actress. She was pretending you not. <laughs> not in my mind, she wasn't. In her mind, she was remembering the advice. Now, Cameron, hug the big monster and pretend it's not scary. <laughs> She was sick, I'm now on her to-do list. You're... <laughs> you're on her restraining order list, mate. It's the only list you're on. Hammond. Yes. And normal Nissan GTR costs, what, 60 grand? 60 grand, OK, yeah. well, this is the new one. It's the Spec V, the V-Spec GTR. That is £125,000 all of a sudden. Yeah. Why is it 125? Uh, you know, it's difficult to tell. I've had a look. I mean, it doesn't have any more power than the normal car that I can see, but it does have something called a boost control device. Basically, it's a button. When you press it, it spools up both the turbos and releases a sudden burst of more power. I just hope that button is mounted on top of the gear lever. And like a little cage, you lift it and oh, <laughs> you've got another code word before you put it in. And then maybe two keys in the dash have to be turned simultaneously yes. before like you... Like on a nuclear submarine. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. You get exactly. an EAM and then you yeah. turn them Permission and the from the president, it's a go. <laughs> I want that, I want that just for that button. Yes. I'm going to point out, because this is sensible top gear, that it also comes with a very competitive three-year warranty. Yeah. 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 <laughs>
Ah. Because the, the problem yeah. goes away. No, with the burka, no, no, no. Honestly, be... honestly, the burka doesn't. It doesn't work. Because I was in a cab in Piccadilly the other day. Okay, a woman in a full burka crossing the road in front of me, or in front of the cab, tripped over the sort of pavement, went head over heels, face over apron. Yeah, and up it came, red g-string stockings. <laughs> I happened. promise it, I didn't promise. No. It did. Did you see this incident on DVD or pay-per-view? <laughs> it was... Because it did the taxi, the taxi driver will back me up on that. He, well, he, he was in the cinema with you. <laughs> that never happened. It did. It didn't happen. uh, next week, Jeremy visits a hospital and a nurse's top falls off. <laughs> <laughs> in Jeremy's mind. Now have a look at this. This is a device. It fits on the exhaust pipe of your car and as you drive along it cooks a burger for you. <laughs> it's brilliant. What? In the exhaust fumes? No, no, no. The exhaust fumes don't, don't cook the burger. It's like, a, you know, like a toasted sandwich maker. The, the hot gas from the exhaust heats it up and then it griddles the burger yeah, in between the two bits. It's a bit close to the whole exhaust process well, well, so, for food. Your testes are close to your bottom, but you still play with them all the time. And... <laughs> the news. Uh, now, as you probably saw, if you were watching the Grand Prix coverage last weekend, the Williams team uh, bought Rubens Barrichello a T-shirt. Here he is wearing it. <laughs> Really happy. Yeah, well, he is really happy. He's so happy, in fact, he's bought all the other Grand Prix drivers who've been down to Top Gear over the years T-shirts. And here's Jensen Button wearing his. Oh. <laughs> I think that demonstrates that somebody in Formula One has got a sense of humour. Makes you wonder, though, I wonder what Fernando Alonso's T-shirt would say. <laughs> I made Felipe Massa give me this T-shirt. <laughs> You see, did anyone see the Grand Prix last weekend? The, uh, the controversy, uh, for those of you who didn't, what uh, the rules say, Rule 39.1 to be specific, says no team is allowed to, uh, I think it's interfere, isn't it, with the race result. Uh, now, what that means is you can't tell one of your drivers to pull over and let the other one go by. Okay? You can't do that. And to make sure the teams don't cheat, the stewards monitor the radio traffic between the pits and the cars, OK? So Ferrari needed last week for Massa to get out of the way and let Alonso go by, so they used a coded message. You want to guess what it was? Was it, uh, Philippe, the rain in Paris falls in May? Is no, it, it wasn't that. No, the blue badger flies over to the crafty cow. I don't know. No, it wasn't that. that. What they actually said was, Fernando is faster than you. Can you confirm you understand this message? <laughs> It's not much of a code, is it, really? It's so much breaking. If the, if, the, if the German Navy had had a code like that in World War II, we'd have beaten them in about a week, because it would have said, the destroyers are to the left. <laughs> the interesting thing for me is the punishment. You may remember uh, last year or year before, McLaren were caught looking over somebody's shoulder and copying their homework. And they were fined $100 million and had all their points taken away. Ferrari, for this infringement, were fined $100,000, which is what they pay Alonso every day. Really? <laughs> That's all they were fined for completely corrupting the outcome of a world championship. It's disgusting. And actually, the only honourable course of action is that for all Ferrari owners, all of mm -hmm. them, to go outside now and smash their cars up. Yeah. <laughs> or, I think burn them. Yeah, and then kill themselves. Yeah. Just because it's the only decent... The decent thing to do, really, all Ferrari owners. What I actually think, I'm not just saying this because of all that stuff you've just been through, but I think Ferrari were right, actually, to do that. I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, team orders, uh, they should allow them, no question. Because if I were on a team, I'd have one really fast car, then I'd have some, well, me, basically, driving around at the back, and anyone who tried to lap me, I'd shoot them with a BB gun. That's a team. <laughs> yeah, that's just a well, paintball gun. <laughs> yeah, just fit your second car with a massive wing that nobody can get past. Yeah, it's at the back, nobody can get past. Well, yeah, I'd definitely do that. Everybody, good news. Yeah. No, wait. It's better than you think. The new Dacia Duster <laughs> is coming to the UK. Okay. How about that? That's great. Oh, okay. Yeah. There was a report out the other week about, uh, about dangerous roads in Britain, and there were some incredible statistics in it. Half of all the crashes in Britain happen on 10% of the roads, okay? Now, one of the most dangerous roads is this one. It's the A something or other, 537 near Macclesfield. And most of the roads that are in the sort of most dangerous category are bikers' roads. Oh, here we go. Have a go at bikers' time, is it? It's been a while. Go on, then kick us. Let me give you this, right? Yes. One in four fatal serious accidents on an A road involves a bike. 
Well, now, there are only eight bikes on the road of Britain, and they're involved in a quarter of all crashes. Well, yeah, stop, stop. If, in terms of miles covered, they're more dangerous than puff adders. <laughs> if you've got one of those Suzuki black boosters... Higher booster. Whatever. See, Black Booster sounds like a sex toy. I think it probably it? is, yeah. Are you a booster? OK, so you drive that on average about ten times a year. Yes. Statistically, you will be killed three times every time you go out. <laughs> Don't give me another statistic, right? The average age at which a biker is killed is 35. Aha! Uh -huh. What? I'm 47. <laughs> That means you've been living on borrowed time for 12 years. No, no, for no, 12 years he's been riding his bike perfectly perpendicular to the road. He does, actually, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> we, left here, we left here the other day. I, I've seen faster moving icebergs than you. <laughs> you got behind a, we got behind a bus going up to the A3 from here, and he sat behind the bus the entire way. Oh, I'm going along. <laughs> you did. That's because, Jeremy, the bus said Guildford on the front, and that's where I wanted to go. <laughs>and talking about the Porsche Panamera. You would think, would you not, that it's impossible to make that car any uglier. Yes. The ugliest thing in the world. Well, it is. There's a Swiss company called Mansory, and, well, here's their creation. I, <laughs> I mean, it actually is uglier, isn't it? That's I'm going terrible. to be sick. That is, how much is it? £133,000. They want for that monster. I, I like the interior, best of all. I've got this for an interior. <laughs> It's like a set of a children's television programme. All it needs is a ball pit down here, and then they pretty much got it finished. <laughs> hey, anyone get a good with Festival of Speed last weekend? Yeah. Several. Because I'm told I wasn't able to make it, but I'm told they had a, a moving motor show there. Um, now, the idea was, unlike a normal motor show, the cars just sit still. You could jump in and, uh, and have a go, which sounds like a great idea, unless you're one of the four people who were run over. <laughs> Seriously, I've got a picture here. Somebody got in a Honda Civic. <laughs> Is there any danger that these Goodwood people might take over the Farnborough Air Show? Well, uh, well, uh, next seven for a go in the Red Arrows. Come on, <laughs> give it a bash. Welcome to the Goodwood Interactive Zoo. Now, who yes. wants to do lion taming? <laughs> no, it doesn't work. No, the Goodwood Festival of Live Ammunition. I mean, that's your bullets in these guns. Yeah, well, you might have a go. These are arranged. No, you just drop yourself. Oh, that's fantastic. Anyone else live in the Cotswolds around here? You do. Have you seen those roads where it says, bikers beware? What does that mean? Does that mean I'm supposed to beware of them? The point about the bikers beware sign is it's, it's sign shorthand, so you can read it at speed. There's no point making a sign saying, motorcyclists, have you considered that there may be a cantankerous, pig-headed, middle-aged man with pews for hair <laughs> driving around on a stupidly overpowered Mercedes that should be a four-seater but hasn't got a back seat and yet costs twice as much? Because That'd if there is, you could be at risk. Just say bikers go home. <laughs> Anyone here a biker? Oh god. Yeah. Well done! Yeah. Right, so well done. eight. Forty-two set off. <laughs> Listen, you want to talk dangerous? What? Cigarette, Jeremy? Why not? I'll do your bet. After the show tonight, you can all come and watch. After the show, you get onto your black booster. I <laughs> You ride round the track as fast as you can, and I'll chain smoke. We'll see who dies first. <laughs> You're right. The European Union, which is a big thing in Belgium, <laughs> it is. Fair enough. They've decided that all car makers, okay, must reach an average target for that whole range of cars. So here's how it works, okay? If BMW sell a V12 limousine, they must then sell lots of little diesel one series cars to keep the average of the CO2 so it's down. Averaged across the it's range. Average. Of so if you think about it, now Bugatti, it's not so bad because Bugatti's owned by Volkswagen. Yeah? And Volkswagen also makes the Polo, so that's fine. But Aston Martin, bit of a problem. Because Aston Martin doesn't, isn't owned by VW or Ford, it's on its own. And they only make And they only Aston make Martin. big, thirsty cars. So they've got to get their average down. So they've had to make a small car, OK? And we have a picture of it here. It's called the Signet. Oh, this 
it's I don't, potentially this... disastrous because it risks ruining it's... their reputation. Yes, it? because what that is is a Toyota IQ with a leather gear knob and then Toyota crossed out and Aston Martin written in ink crayon. That's what that is. <laughs> Hang on a minute. If they just need to bring their average CO2 down, yeah. why don't they just buy a bicycle factory? <laughs> <laughs> or they should do Aston Martin flowers because they suck in CO2 <laughs> and put out oxygen I think and that bring it crashing. I think this has to be a mode of transport. You can't go to work on some flowers. A horse? <laughs> scissors. They could... Have you ever tried sitting on a pair of scissors? <laughs> Not, not uh, yet. It probably has. Work. No, a, a cow. cow. Ostriches, they're quite exotic. <laughs> and the other one I've just thought of is Zonda. What are Zonda going to do? Oh, that'll be easy. Well, they're Italian, aren't they? They'll just lie. That's what they <laughs> said. Emissions is very important. Is it low or high? Low. OK, my emissions is one. And that's it. And that's how they'll get... They'll just lie. But they will just lie. Well, why don't Aston Martin just... Why don't they take a leaf out of the European book and then just say, yes, our cars don't really produce carbon dioxide at all? Because that's, that's what they're not... If you say to a Spanish... Yeah. You go and inspect a Spanish fishing boat and go, have you been fishing? No. What's all that in your boat? My lunch. <laughs> in case a lot of people are hungry. This is the answer. Don't make that Aston Martin. Just lie. <laughs>